Beef cattle producers need to be able to identify their animals to be able to pick out those animals that are doing the best job on the farm and to assist in collecting information to determine which animals should be culled from the herd. There are a number of methods that can be used for uh, identifying animals. Uh, we'll cover each one of those very briefly. First off would be the tattoo where ink is applied inside the ear where a, a number is placed. Uh, this is used as in many registered operations and requirement for registration by many of the breed associations. Uh, this is a permanent identification. The only problem is that it is not practical in a uh, farm situation if you're needing to get the number of an animal while it's out in the pasture. You must catch the animal and then read that uh, tattoo. Another way that's not used by many beef producers but is a possibility is a neck or a rope chain uh, with a tag attached. Uh, this is a very visible way to be able to read the identification number of an animal. Uh, the problem with this is that uh, uh, the chain or rope can get uh, snagged on something, it can choke the animal, or it can break and, and fall off. So this is not really a permanent identification, but it is a method of identifying animals. Probably the method that is used by most producers is an ear tag of some type. There are a, a number of uh, companies that are providing ear tags. These are relatively inexpensive. Uh, they stay in quite well. Of course, there is a uh, percentage of tags that will get lost either each year, and producers will need to replace those periodically. Uh, as we think about ear tags, uh, there's also the electronic identification tags. Uh, this is going to be a part of the National Animal Identification Program. Uh, these tags work real well in, in the marketing of animals. Uh, they're somewhat impractical on a farm situation. Uh, they cannot be read out in the field. The reader uh, for these is quite expensive and also it must be within about 18 inches to, to read that EID tag. But again, uh, uh, when animals are marketed, this is uh, a type of tag that has been used and probably will see greater use as time goes along. Uh, another method that some producers use is branding. In the West, uh, they use a hot brand. Uh, here in Tennessee and in the Southeast, we see more producers that would be using a freeze brand. And what we're doing with these brands is either uh, killing the hair or uh, killing the pigment producing uh, cells in the uh, hairs so that they end up with a white brand. The idea is, is having something permanent on that animal's hide. A negative to this is that it does uh, cause some damage to the hide and we uh, want to be sure if we are using freeze branding that, that we get back uh, so that we're only damaging a small portion of the hide and then it be back at a corner where we won't mess up the whole hide. EID, as well as all these others, are good ways of identifying cattle. Uh, you just need to select the method that works best on your farm. But I would encourage you to come up with some type of identification program so that you can better manage the animals in your herd. If you would like additional information, please contact your local extension agent.